Good morning and welcome to our YouTube service for the sixth Sunday of Easter. Our theme today is the year-round joy of Easter. We are, after all, referred to as the Easter people. Now the successive lockdowns have deprived us of the opportunity to sing our favourite Easter hymns. Deprived us for two years in fact. So I'm going to indulge myself by singing two today. The tunes will be very familiar and I do hope that you will join in. The first hymn is by Brian Wren, Christ is Alive. Christ is alive, let Christians sing, the cross stands empty to the sky. Let streets and homes with praises ring, love drowned in death shall never die. Christ is alive, no longer bound to distant years in Palestine, but saving, healing, and now, and touching every and time. In every insult, rift, and war, where color, scorn, or wealth divide, Christ suffers still, yet loves the more, and lives where even hope has died. Women and men in age and youth can feel the spirit hear the call and find the way the life the truth revealed in jesus free for all christ is alive and comes to bring good news to this and every earth and sky and ocean ring with joy, with justice, love and praise. With the joy of knowing the risen Christ, we pray the collect for today. God our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The reading set for today is from St John's Gospel, chapter 15. It's part of Jesus' final teaching to his followers when he knows that he is on his way to the cross. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, and he lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends, for everything that I learned from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. This is my command, love each other. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Try, if you can 
to put your mind where Jesus' followers were after that first Good Friday. Jesus' body had to be buried in haste before the Sabbath. In following the story in Genesis that God rested on the seventh day after the six days of creation, Jews are very strict about the day of rest. The absolute minimum of work must be done. Walking is restricted to very short journeys. The state of gloom in which the disciples sat is hard to imagine. Everything that they had hoped for was dashed into pieces. At the earliest possible moment after the Sabbath, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome went to the grave to anoint the body with spices. When they got there, the stone had been rolled away and they saw a young man robed in white. St Mark tells us that he said that Jesus was not there. He had risen and they were to go and tell Peter and the others. In terror and amazement, they fled. The Gospel accounts vary in their details, though the figure of Mary Magdalene is common to them all, as are the words terror and amazement. How can we begin to share the emotions of those first witnesses? We know the subsequent stories, the resurrection appearances, and then the ascension, and then Pentecost. We can't just put those aside. And yet, to put ourselves into the shoes of the eyewitnesses, that is what we must do. Central to it all is Easter, the resurrection. Very early on the first day of the week, we read, the first day of the week. The Jewish Sabbath is the seventh day. Sunday, every Sunday, is the first day of the week. And we celebrate the resurrection every Sunday. Every Sunday is Easter Sunday. Now just for a moment, <coughs> turn your mind back to that reading from St John's Gospel. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. I no longer call you servants. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I have learned from my Father, I have made known to you. This is my command. Love each other. I suspect that most of us know somebody who has come to know Jesus through a tragedy or disaster. From the pit of despair, they have felt an unexpected support. I can think of people who have been through the pit of COVID, either losing someone dear to them or having the disease themselves, who then turn out to be the most forward and outward looking. Something in their own experience brings out the best, brings them to offer support and help to others going through the pit themselves. So whatever fortune comes your way, I hope and pray that, you, that for you every Sunday is Easter. I hope and pray that you will know Jesus walking alongside you in bad times and good. And I hope and pray that your joy in the Lord may underpin your whole life. With that joy in our hearts, let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, as we come to God in prayer, 
May we know the certainty that he hears us and may we always allow ourselves time to listen to him. We pray for the church throughout the world, but especially in our own parishes. May we radiate the joy of knowing Jesus so that others may want what we have. May the church be ready to help those in whatever pit of despair they might sometimes find themselves. May we be enabled to bring them the peace that knowing Jesus can bring. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Father, for political leaders around the world, trying to balance conflicting advice about COVID while keeping on top of other issues, including climate change. We pray that they will be guided by your Holy Spirit and that they will accept that guidance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our own local communities. We give thanks that with the aid of the vaccination programme, COVID seems to be becoming less of a threat. We pray for those who are still nervous about COVID, praying for their peace of mind and for tolerance, support and understanding from those who are wanting to move forward. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Father, for those who are sick, for those countries where COVID is still raging, for those with other illnesses which have gone unrecognised, unreported and untreated because of the pandemic. We give thanks for those on the front line of medical treatment and medical research, for their selfless commitment and for the inspiration and guidance which they have been given. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who have died, whether of COVID or of other causes. We pray for those who are left behind to mourn. Father, may they know your love and come in time to remember the good times with joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, join me, if you will, in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. To end our service, please join me in the hymn, Sing Choirs of Heaven. You will know the tune. Sing choirs of heaven, let saints and angels sing around God's throne, exult in harmony. Now Jesus Christ is risen from the Salute your King in glorious symphony. Sing choirs of earth, behold your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines radiantly. Lift up your hearts, for Christ has conquered death. The night is past, the day of life is here. Sing, Church of God, exult with joy out God. The gospel trumpets tell of victory won. Your Saviour lives, he's with you ever. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, 
make us perfect in every good work to do his will, working in us that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And may the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit rest on us and those who we love this day and always. Amen. May Easter joy be with us through the whole year. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.